what's up everyone and welcome to another Bitcoin update let's start off here on the weekly time frame and look at what we got going on so we got a decrease in bull volume here as we've been rising which is not good for the bulls we also have a decrease in strength as you can see with the lower highs on the RSI uh, it's likely that if we end up breaking down from uh, breaking below this weekly low that will probably go down to this purple zone down here which is down from about 37,800 down to about 29k daily time frame let's see it let's see what we're working with folks we got the uh, daily trend still intact the bullish daily trend here with our low high higher low and then higher high we are currently pushing pushing down after getting to a new all-time high of about 61,781 on this exchange our support levels are this gray zone right here that we rejected off of twice before eventually pushing through and this new blue zone that we rejected off of right here and then traded down below before eventually closing above let's look at the 12 hour time frame and see where we're at this is the trade that i'm currently looking at right now this is a short entry if we close this 12 hour candle in 28 minutes below this gray zone now this gray zone uh, should have acted as support right here. Now the reason for that is because we had our low, I'll move this over here so you can see a little bit better, we had our low, high, higher low, and then higher high. So we rejected, the price rejected right here, making this uh, a resistance level. But then once we closed above it, this should have acted as support right here. We should have bounced off of this level. But instead what we did was we pushed right through this level and we closed this candle right here below the the uh, bottom of this candle. If this one closes below it as well, I will look to go short on a retest of this level with my stop loss below, I'm sorry, above the high from right here. And I will be targeting the blue zone down here. So, that is about a 2.23 risk to reward. But um, as I mentioned, if we look at the weekly time frame, if we break below this low, which is 49,316, and we look at that on the daily time frame, where is that at? I'm sorry, the 12 hour time frame. 49,316 is down here. So if we go below this low right here, I would imagine that this trade will end up turning into uh, that. So that is, you know, pretty significant. The other thing is, if we end up just going below that low, and let's say like grabbing liquidity there, that will still be a really nice trade of a risk reward of about three point five three. So that's really what I'm watching right now. If we go down on the four hour time frame we can see that we are currently uh, pushing into uh, this level. We, we did not have a um, two candle closes below this low, so this white candle is not a resistance zone uh, in my opinion. But this level right here is the resistance level that we're currently pushing into right now. But as I mentioned, the uh, 12 hour time frame is the time frame we are currently watching. We have 25 minutes until that closes. If it closes below that low, I will be going short there, targeting these levels down here at about 51.8, and then 49.3, and then if we, you know, we really go down, then uh, like if we start trending bearish, then down here down to about 37. Nine. That's all I got for this one, guys. I hope you liked it. Give it a like down below if you did. Subscribe for future Bitcoin market updates as well as other cryptocurrency, blockchain, educational content. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Until then.
Onward and upward.